Bertemu kembali kita bersama dengan Ketua Pegawai Eksekutif dan Pengarah Urusan Peloris, Kapten Razali Agok, membincangkan tentang NMIT, the Netherlands Maritime Institute of Technology. Um, let's talk about um, the courses, a structure of courses offered okay. at NM, uh, NMIT. Um, you have a diploma courses. Maybe you can share with us what are yes, subjects um, Thank taught you. there. Basically, there are three uh, diploma programs that has been approved by uh, MOHI, mm -hmm. Ministry of Higher Education. That is the Diploma in Maritime Transportation Management. Secondly, is port management, and thirdly, shipping management. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, we intend to offer three additional programs, oh. which is the Marine uh, HSSE, Health, Safety, Security, and Environment, and Maritime Offshore Operations, and Maritime Law. Mm -hmm. And in the future, there will be a few more uh, courses that we will be offering. And this, at the moment, we are offering only up to the diploma level. Mm -hmm. We hope that in two and a half years' time, we will be able to offer the degree programs, mm -hmm. more advanced program, more specialized programs, mm -hmm. of course, with the support of our partners from the Netherlands. Yeah. So, so, so you need more investment for that, I guess, for facilities yeah, and yes, things like that. Yes, basically, yeah. Yeah, maybe you can share with us <laughs> the amount of investment you're putting in for NMIT. Okay, and yeah, also basically for last year, uh, you can see that we have uh, invested uh, nearly 50 million mm -hmm. ringgit, and this year we hope to add on another 100 million or so. And perhaps by 2014, additional about 150 million because of the expansion plan that we have, ah. uh, in creating having branches all over Malaysia, and also in 2015 where we hope to do uh, to go uh, uh, on the Southeast Asian region. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have. Uh, uh, certain countries that has shown interest, of course, uh, mainly in Southeast Asia, but we have inquiries now from the Middle East and China as well. Ah. So, and uh, again, like I mentioned, uh, this program is unique. You may not be able to get these programs anywhere in the region. Uh -huh. And because of that, I see that uh, we are in a very strategic position because when people ask about competition, mm. competition, then we, we feel that we would encourage competitors to come in, explore mm -hmm. this um, um, the uncharted uh, territories mm -hmm. uh, which we are doing and I think uh, the gap uh, to be bridged is too wide uh, for us to do it alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and also the fact that you are <coughs> partnering with uh, De Reuters and also William Barrens, yes. um, will that also be a gateway for students or maybe um, the institution itself to uh, maybe explore relationships with um, companies from the Netherlands itself? Oh, certainly, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I think this is one of uh, the beauty of this uh, partnership where we gave options for the students to do their internship, four months internship, mm -hmm. during the diploma programs to be based in the Netherlands mm -hmm. and even possibly into the other European countries as the system of education is, is harmonized in Europe mm -hmm. and it's uh, standardized. So there's uh, room for them to explore further. At the same time, uh, we also have at the end of the two and a half years program that they have a two week uh, study tour to the Netherlands mm -hmm. where they would be able to see the real life activities taking place at the bigger sports in Europe. I, th I, th I think that would be the most company. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, I yes. would actually sign up for right. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's talk about you know signing up. If, if students want to uh, if, if they want to join or if they want to enroll in NMI, uh, NMIT, yes. how do they do that? How do they okay, go? At the moment, that? of course, they can uh, register online uh -huh. yeah, at our website. Uh, uh, you can uh, type in nmit.edu.my. Mm -hmm. uh, or, uh, of course, we, ha we have now, we are operating at Manara Kotaraya mm -hmm. in Jobaru for now. Uh, we hope that the new uh, Edu City campus. Uh, will be ready by uh, September this year mm -hmm. and with after renovation and so on we hope to move in by January mm -hmm. that can fit in about 1,200 students uh, ah. now we anticipate uh, maximum capacity is only 600 okay. at uh, the city campus and uh, um, uh, basically uh, to apply of course through the online and yeah. also we, you, we can uh, uh, from the information from the website, mm -hmm. uh, they would give you the, the, the particulars. At the moment, we take in SPM, uh, uh, those levers, SPM yeah. levers with a minimum of three credits. Uh -huh. yeah? yeah, And people also question that the standard uh, set is uh -huh. whether it's of a high level and so on. For us, uh, we see the specialty of this institute is we do not focus only on theory, but a lot of uh, practical input will be there. Uh -huh. So it's a, a pragmatic program. Uh, we hope the, the students, the gra when they graduate, they'll be market ready, okay. uh, ready to work without uh, much uh, training required from the, the clients, organization. Uh, yeah. I, I, I write here in the, in, in the release that uh, the diplomas offered by NMIT will be awarded by both Dutch partners, which is also the Reuters and also right. the yes. William um, parents. Maybe you can explain 
Uh, yeah, basically, uh, we are being subjected to the uh, Dutch uh, Education Authority uh -huh. standards. Yeah? So you don't just get the Malaysian uh, uh, education uh, standards, also the Dutch education yes. um, standards Yes, that's the beauty well. of it. Because uh -huh. uh, basically, uh, we uh, are not only concerned about uh, having the graduates working in Malaysia, mm -hmm. but hopefully they can work in uh, the regions of Southeast Asia, and even internationally in Europe. Mm -hmm. And usually if you have a standard which is approved by the Netherlands, it is good enough for the European Union standards. Mm -hmm. And it is usually taken to be a global uh, qualification that is recognized uh, worldwide. Okay, so for those of you who are interested, you can log on to nmit.edu.my yes. and then you can, you know, fill in your particulars Correct. and you yes. just follow the, the instructions right. on the website. But I think uh, we have about two or three minutes left. Let's talk about importance of R&D uh, for Malaysian mm -hmm. maritime industries because I think um, when you want to have a high income, high knowledge economy, um, R&D is, is vital in providing that niche for you to be in. Is NMIT stressing a lot on R&D? Yes, certainly. This is where we talk about uh, partnership is in terms of transferring of technology mm -hmm. yeah, from the Netherlands to here. Uh, we know that we are not strong in every aspect, but uh, fortunately we have partners who have been hundreds of years in this business in maritime. Mm -hmm. As you know, the Netherlands, they are the leading maritime nation in the world. Uh, they have a quarter of the land below sea level, mm -hmm. and they have reclaimed 45% of what the country is now, mm -hmm. as, as big as the size of Pahang, mm -hmm. yet, uh, a state like Pahang, they have a very resilient workforce, very resourceful, very versatile, and they are all over the world. They talk about Shell, Philips, mm -hmm. and, and other companies. And uh, there's a lot of uh, learning that we, that we can do uh, in terms of even the cultur cultural uh, intervention that is required mm -hmm. to make uh, the Malaysians more international. Mm -hmm. so, and, and it's not only about knowledge, but also about skills and attitude. Mm -hmm. And this is where uh, I think uh, NMIT uh, is strong in and we feel that we would not only be a, a regional player but mm -hmm. a global player. Okay, I, I, th I think my last yes. question would be on um, how big do you see NMIT uh, playing a part in providing that uh, professionals in the uh, maritime industry in Malaysia? At the moment, he talk about uh, research and, and uh, development activities here in Malaysia. Sad to say, it's mm -hmm. uh, is uh, <laughs> something that uh, we can improve upon mm -hmm. yeah? uh, and I think uh, the way to go forward yeah, in terms of um, facing the greater challenges of the future is through the R&D work yeah? okay. and in this regard uh, we have a strong partners in Netherlands mm -hmm. who are doing this for the past 50 or so 60 years. It's best to just share the resources Correct. instead of starting from right. scratch, right? Yeah, Thank absolutely. you very much, uh, yeah. Captain Razali Yaakob. Tidak di Ketua Pegawai Ezekiel Tidak Pengarap Rusuan Pelores. Captain Razali Yaakob bincangkan tentang NMIT. Dan kita akan berhenti di sini saja. Saya Rizal Zulkafli. Teruskan menonton Astro Awani. Berita yang sekenal di Messi. Salam hormat.